today. My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a minute and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make a whole chicken in the Instapot Dual Crisp Air Fryer. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you know uh, I mainly focus on smoking and barbecue videos mixed with some sous vide uh, cooking as well. But I do have a section of, uh, you know, slow cooker recipes slash air fryer uh, casseroles, things of that nature. And my wife got um, Instapot last year for Christmas, and I, I've done a couple videos uh, using it to cook, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. But since we didn't know whether or not we were going to like it or not, uh, we got the smaller version, the six quart version. And my uh, wife always wanted to upgrade to the eight quart so we could just make a larger amount of food. And uh, we've also been uh, considering getting an air fryer. There's a lot of YouTube channels out there. It seems to be the real happening uh, cooking utensil right now, the air fryers. And when we heard that Instapot was coming out with a brand new 8-quart version that had uh, a, a new air fryer lid that you could use uh, to expand the options to turn it into an air fryer, we thought that might be the time to upgrade. And so here we are, brand new in the box. We've never even taken it out and looked at it yet, but this is the new 8-quart dual crisp air fryer. And what I'm going to try to do today is to cook a whole chicken. I would never consider cooking a whole chicken in the Instapot, mainly because it's a pressure cooker, and although it would cook the chicken uh, sufficiently, it just would be lacking that kind of crispy skin that you want when you're doing a whole chicken. That's why I usually end up doing them on the grill or sous vide them and finishing on the grill or just cooking them in my pit barrel cooker because I like that nice brown color you get when you crisp up the skin. So this is going to be an experiment, my very first cook, and I'm going to tell you what I think of this uh, new air fryer from Instapot. I have around a five pound young chicken here. I got a couple lemons. We're going to use some lemon pepper seasoning, and we're going to put a little bit of uh, chicken broth in there as well, and we're going to give it a shot. So uh, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. All right, so this is a really easy recipe, and if you have this Instapot uh, Dual Crisp Air Fryer, I would certainly recommend trying this, at least if it comes out good. We'll find out. I took one lemon, and I uh, sliced it in quarters, and I uh, rinsed the chicken off, took it out of the package, and I'm going to stuff these lemons inside, but first I'm going to season it inside and outside with uh, Atlanta Grill Company uh, Coach's Zesty Lemon, and just to let you know, Let's see, this has salt, lemon pepper, regular pepper, garlic, thyme, and parsley. So this is going to be absolutely delicious on uh, chicken. So let's, uh, let's start off by shaking a little bit on the inside here. We want to season it inside and out. Okay. And then, like I said, I'm just going to put the lemons in here. They're not really serving any purpose other than to kind of give it some flavor as it pressure cooks. Okay, like so. And now we're just going to season the outside of the chicken with the seasoning. And like if you don't have lemon pepper, you know, you could use salt, pepper, garlic powder. If you've got a favorite chicken rub, by all means, use your favorite chicken rub. So let me continue to do this, and then I'll be back in a second, and I'll show you really how easy this uh, recipe is. Not very complicated, but just make sure you get this uh, seasoning on all sides. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I have the chicken laying here. Now, just uh, to show you guys, it's pretty much like a regular Instapot. You got your regular, uh, you know, pot that you would cook and pressure cook in. And then, in addition, they give you this air fryer basket, and it's got a little uh, kind of stand on the bottom here that clicks on the bottom. And then it has your traditional lid for pressure cooking. And then it's got the air fryer lid, which you can see it's got a heating element and a fan there. And then it connects via these little electrical things on the thing that pops in down here. And then it gives you a nice little plastic stand, because I guess if you're using the air fryer, this is obviously going to get warm. If you pick it up to 
get the food out or just to check on it, see how crispy it is, you want to have someplace safe that you can put it on while you're messing with the food. So they give you this nice little plastic, um, I guess, holder that you could use. And I guess you can also, when you're storing it, uh, screw onto the bottom here to protect the element, okay? So anyway, let me show you how easy this is. We're going to take the air fryer basket with the, the bottom on there, and we're going to try to squeeze that chicken in there. <laughs> Easier said than done. So let me see if I can squeeze this chicken in. I think it'll just barely fit. Yep. Boy. Tight squeeze, but it works. I just wanted to show you. Uh, obviously, you don't want a bird much bigger than uh, five pounds, because it's just going to barely fit in there. Uh, normally I would uh, tie the legs together, but you know, this pot being so small kind of forces them together anyway. So I think I will be fine. All right, let me show you the next step. All right, so you're going to put the regular pot in the Instapot, and this is where we're going to put a cup and a half of regular old chicken stock. If you're in a pinch, you could use regular water, but I think the chicken stock is just going to add a little bit of flavor. All right, now we're going to place... The air fryer, we're going to actually pressure cook it in the same thing, same pot as this we're going to air fry it in. So I'm going to stick that in there, there go. like so. Alright. And we're going to pressure cook on high for a total of 23 minutes. Alright, just to show you this new Instapot, it's kind of cool because they redesigned the steam release here. It used to be it had a little notch here that you'd have to turn this. But it could be a little dangerous because hot steam flies out. The new one here has just got a button here that you push and it releases the steam. And then you got to kind of push this. You see how it pop back down to kind of reset it. So that's kind of neat. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do pressure cook. We're going to do high, which is already on. And we're going to set the time to 23 minutes. Whoops. And that should be it. We'll hit start. There we go. It should start the countdown, 23 on down, once it reaches uh, pressure. All right, while I wait for that to pressure cook, beverage review time. Sapporo Premium Beer. This is from Japan. I usually only drink this when I go to a Japanese place for sushi or like Benihana at a teppan table. Either this or a current. Those are the two most famous beers. I've had it before, but I like it. So that's what I'm having. And this is my daughter, Ava Grace. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Kyle's you... not here because we didn't uh, find anything for him to drink for the review. Yeah, he's taking a break. He's playing PlayStation 4. And uh, Ava Grace is going to try something. Naked Blue Machine. Have you had this before, Ava um, Grace? No. You've never had it? I don't, I've never even heard of this. What is Blue Machine? It, it looks purple to you, but it it's does actually look purple. blue. That's why you have Let's see. It's got uh, apple juice, banana puree, blueberry, blackberry, carrot juice, blueberry carrot juice. Carrot juice inside blue machine. Wow, all kinds of stuff. Blackberries. Oh, boy, you're getting good at this, huh? Here, put this down here. All right, we'll shake it real good. <laughs> I have to see that part on the video. The <laughs> You're going to see thing. that part on the video? Yeah. Alright. It's going to be pretty cool. See me open a cup. Alright. So that's your blue machine. Looks good. From Naked Juice. It smells just like blue. It smells like blue. I don't know. How does blue smell? <laughs> like blueberries all over the drink. You no, know, George Carlin used to have a skit that there's no blue food. I still remember that. He said, sometimes you'll go to a cafeteria and they have some uh, blue jello. Don't eat it. <laughs> wow. All right. And here's my Sapporo. This is a very light beer. It's kind of like a light Pilsner. It's uh, compatible with American beers like Miller Coors, you know, Budweiser. I think it's a little bit better. Uh, they don't put the alcohol content, but if I would guess, I would guess it's probably right around 5%. Maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. But uh, I've had it before. Like I said, I usually order a big, one of the big Sapporo bottles when I go out with my wife, Monica, for sushi. And then we'll share a little hot sake too, the little rice wine. All right, Ava Grace, 
Cheers, thanks for being on oh, my yeah. video. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers to the viewers. Okay. Cheers yeah. to the viewers. I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. All right, let's give it a sip and see what we think, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a hot day today. Yeah. This tastes good. Mmm. This does too. Okay, so how's it Cold. taste? Cold and fresh on a hot day. Smells like blueberries all over the tree, as I said. <laughs> One, one more sip and look at the camera. Tell them again what it tastes like. Take a sip. Alright, now tell them what does it taste like? Tastes like blueberries. Like blueberries? That's probably why they call it the blue machine, huh? Yep. Alright. You tried it sometime. It's pretty good. And this is good. I mean, it's uh, nothing spectacular. I usually drink something a little bit heavier, but uh, it's approaching summer. It was a very hot day today. If my video is a little noisier than normal, it's because we got the air conditioning cranked right now. <laughs> and it's still hot in here because we didn't turn it on. I didn't realize it was going to be so hot. So now it's just fighting. Luckily, evening will be here shortly and we'll have relief. But in the meantime... I'll have this with my dinner tonight. Yeah. Having these beverages will definitely cool us off, right, David Grace? Beverages? What's that? Beverages, drinks. Oh. Having these drinks will definitely help to cool us off, right? Yeah. Okay, cheers to our viewers. Cheers to our viewers. Cheers to your dad. <laughs> Again, guys, thanks. Uh, we're going to let this uh, finish, counting down from 23. We're going to do a quick release, and then we're going to change lids and put the air fryer lid on it and continue cooking it for another 25 minutes or so. So that's it. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. <laughs> thanks, guys. We're going to enjoy this. We'll be back shortly. All right, it just beeped, so I'm going to release the pressure here. Let's see, I have never done this before. There we go. All right, we'll be back once all the steam is released. All right, let's uh, open this up. See how it looks like. All right. I'm just going to... Let it sit here and uh, vent some steam. We'll be back in a second. Okay, it's been cooling. I took uh, the pan out and drained all the liquid and dried it off. We'll put that back into the Instapot. And what I've done here is I dried off this chicken really well. You can see the legs are breaking away here. And the skin is right here as well. So it looks But cooked. as expected, uh, the chicken is kind of soggy. Not very appetizing. So we're going to check out that air fryer lid right now and see how it works. All right, so I have some of this uh, olive oil spray. You can use melted butter as well. But we just want to put something on here to kind of make sure it can get crispy. So there you go. Just a light coating. And uh, we'll stick this into the Instapot. And let me get that fryer lid and we'll get it going. Here we are with the lid. I've never done this before, but we're going to try to do air fry it for uh, 25 minutes. The cool thing, you just put it on in the slots, it makes that sound. Kind of make sure those uh, pins have gone through. So let me see, air fry. We want to go 400 degrees. Oops. And let's do 25 minutes. All right. The cool thing about the air fryer that I'm going to have to get used to, here's the stand. You don't have to wait to the steam to escape. You could just literally open it up. It, it'll shut off automatically. You can check it, put it back on, so forth. So we'll be back in maybe 15 minutes to check on. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's been around uh, 13 minutes. Let's open this up. You just have to pull open on this, put it on this nice stand, and let's take a look. Okay, I can see a little bit of sizzle on top of that uh, chicken. Mmm, and it smells good. All right, we'll uh, put this on. It does pause the time, it says lid, as long as you don't keep the lid off too long. So we'll let it go another 13 minutes, but I might check it in another five, six minutes just to take a look. See it a little bit. All right, it's going to be ready in 20 seconds. Let's just take a look. Wow. It oh looks good. There it is. I'm just going to let some steam escape here. 
Give it a few minutes so it's uh, cool enough for me to handle. Be back in a minute. All right, guys, here we are. I just put it out here. It's still really hot, so I'm just going to let it cool off. You can definitely tell it's cooked. I did uh, check it, too, with my uh, InstaRead, and uh, it is definitely done. But, boy, pretty impressive, I think. The skin is nice and crispy. Yeah. I'm going to let it cool a little bit longer, slice this up, and then uh, give it a sample. Be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with my son Kyle. I cut up some pieces. I know he likes the white meat. I got the wings and the thighs with the Hello. drumsticks, but yeah, give it a shot, Kyle. See what you think. Mmm. Good. Mm. It's good and solid. Yeah? It definitely tastes like a rotisserie chicken that you would get like at uh, Sam's Club or something. And I think about it, it does taste like that. You should try a little bit of the skin here that I crisp up because, here. Would it particularly be more to buy, like, and cook it this way than it would be just to buy one at, like, Sam's Club? Well, Sam's Club and Costco, they sell the chickens almost at the cost of the raw chicken as an incentive for you to come and shop. But you know what? If you had some chickens, like this freeze, this one I pulled out of the freezer, yesterday let it defrost overnight and uh, yeah cook it with that uh, air fryer I'm pretty impressed to be honest with you I wasn't too sure how this would turn out but boy it is very good what do you think about the skin did you try it can, yeah. you, ta can you taste the lemon pepper seasoning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. wow I'm impressed as well no I know this doesn't require a sous vide or anything, but if you watch other videos on their channel, you should probably get one, like, because it can make really good chicken. Yeah, yeah. Or other stuff. As always, guys, I really appreciate you watching my video. If you like it, please hit the like button. I would love it if you would consider subscribing, and I'll leave a link above uh, to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, and we'll see you next time. See ya. See ya. Thanks for watching. Mmm. Some good stuff, huh? Mm-hmm.